Ben Hogan and his swing concepts were decades ahead of his time. Now, one of the biggest ones was how this right arm should sit at a dress, therefore how it should work in the backswing and into the release. I'm gonna show you how by setting up with the trail arm correctly, you're going to A, nail your setup position, B, be able to get into an awesome top of the backswing position, but most importantly, C, you're going to be able to actually release the club pretty much automatically based on a concept called neutral joint alignment. So let's firstly start with the setup position. Again, we're focusing everything today on the trail arm. What we see a lot of amateurs do and what we see a lot of the best players in the world do and what Ben Hogan used to advocate for. And the first thing we have to understand is golf is very much played as a, as a trail side dominant sport. Now there are examples of golfers who are lead side dominant. Uh, so for example, a golfer who plays golf right-handed, if he was trail side dominant, he would naturally be a right-handed person like myself. Uh, but a lead side dominant player would be a golfer who is right-handed, but they write with their left hand and they kick with their left foot and things like that. So with that in mind, because this is my dominant side, a lot of amateurs get into the position where they go, right, I want to be powerful with this position. So they reach over and they stretch their trail arm over. As a byproduct of this, number one, the trail shoulder jolts forward so we can see now my shoulders are open. Number two, this often gets the spine leaning towards the target. And number three, this gets this trail arm what we class as very internal, very locked out and very internal. Now from here, first of all, this has ruined my setup. So now my swing is going to want to go to the left. Again, some of the biggest issues in golf are shanks, pulls and slices. This is going to encourage that. Also from here, it's going to be extremely hard for me to want to get into a good top of backswing position. So often I'm going to have to collapse my arm uh, in order to get there. And also with this position, it's going to want to promote an open club face due to the anatomy of how the arm is sat. Now, what do we see with good players? Well, if you imagine I've drawn a line right down the middle of my bicep and there is an arrow coming out from sort of my elbow pit here. Bad golfers, we will see this sort of point down and towards the target, maybe just to the right of target. Good golfers, we will see this point basically towards the camera, kind of towards the golf ball here. So what they have essentially done is they have externally rotated their bicep to get their elbow pad away from them. And you can see here from the downline view how this pulls my trail shoulder back. And if anything, it brings my lead shoulder forwards and a little bit more internal. Now from this position here, you can see how it's fixed my shoulder alignment. That's gonna help you with your club path and swing direction. It's fixed a lot of my tilts and it's got me in a position to where it's gonna be a lot easier to have a really, really good grip. Now, a great way of actually figuring out this position for you to where you get that bicep pointing away from you, or you can think elbow joint pointing towards the trail hip, is to hold a, imagine you're holding a steering wheel out in front of you up here. Turn it slightly to the right and come forwards. What you will notice is this has brought the left shoulder forwards, the right shoulder back, the left arm a little bit more on top of the right arm. Now, what you can also see is as I do this, that from the downline view, it very much gets my trail arm just folded into my body slightly and the left arm uh, is slightly visible above that trail arm. Now, what we find with a lot of tour pros is on average at a dress, they will have about 14 to 16 degrees of arm bend. So a little bit of trail arm bend at a dress. Most amateurs are closer to dead straight, so zero degrees of arm bend. So by simply getting yourself in a better position here, you're now going to start to promote just a effortless backswing. So now let's move on to the backswing. So now let's talk about the backswing and how this trail arm is gonna get you in a great position. So first of all, it's going to allow you to maintain beautiful width with your trail arm. If you get it positioned in the right position of the dress, it is going to want to have amazing width at the top of the backswing. Number two, it's gonna help you swing on plane. It's gonna help you form this beautiful arc around the body, which is roughly sort of at a 45 degree angle. And from there, again, helping you swing on plane on the way back, which is gonna set you up beautifully for the way down. And the third thing is it's gonna help you stay connected. Your hands and arms, your uh, body is all gonna wanna stay connected. So you get that beautiful in sync look. So let's start by showing you again what the bad position is, where it goes over this way, arms very internal. From here, you'll often see golfers whip the club inside straight away. You can see the trail arm is buckled massively. And from here at the top, you tend to get very collapsed across the body, zero width, uh, the trail arm stuck behind the body, and then whoo, you cannot get into a good position on the way down. So by simply getting this trail arm into this good position here, Straight away, the first movement is going to want to be a lot more in front of you. You can see club face is matching spine angle there and the arm is still in front. It has a soft amount of fold, but everything has worked away beautifully together. 
Now, as the arm then starts to set to the top of the backswing, I am going to be able to load the trail wrist and the trail arm beautifully. P. Cowan, fantastic advocate of this movement. So as I then start to go to the top, you can see because the elbow pit was pointing away from me, it's just allowing this arm just to naturally fold into the correct position. Whenever golfers go this way, the arm or elbow always wants to hike high, very disconnected look at the top of the backswing, versus when the elbow pit's away, the arm just wants to naturally fold into that awesome loaded position at the top of the back so I can really feel my trail shoulder blade is engaged it's sort of down in this position it's getting my arms in an awesome spot it's getting the club face in an awesome spot in a position to then where I'm ready to then apply pressure on the back of the ball now a drill that I absolutely love let's just say now you've developed that beautiful setup but you're a little bit stuck on okay what should this be feeling on this is an absolutely fantastic drill I grab the club, but do a cat handed grip. So you can see I've gone left below right. Now from this position, swing to the top and feel nice and wide with your left arm. And you can see as I do that, how it gets that trail arm in a beautiful position at the top of the backswing. So once you've done that a couple of times and you feel like you're in a good position there, just switch your hands over and straight away, you can see how that trail arm is fully loaded. I can feel my shoulder blade is down and I can feel like I've got everything in amazing position to them where it's gonna be so easy to organize on the way down. So let me now show you what this looks like. So again, I'm gonna do a cross-handed drill just so I can develop that good sensation. I feel that amazing load, switch the hands over. Okay, this is the position I'm aiming for and coming back into the ball. And I feel like I have no choice but to apply a huge amount of pressure onto the back of the ball, which is fantastic for your ball striking. So again, this is where the goal swing, if we get the anatomy in the right position, a lot of great things just happen automatically. So let me see if I can recreate this, get it into that great loaded position and then swing all the way through. So here is where the magic really starts to happen. And this is where the moment of truth, as we come into the downswing, we're gonna see that by positioning the trail arm correctly, we're gonna get some incredible results. So, so far we've got our trail arm in a great position at address, elbow pits pointing away, elbow is pointing towards the trail hip, and you can see my bicep here, the sort of line is pointing, again, sort of towards the camera. We've now got the trail arm loaded in the top of the backswing. Again, this is in a great spot to them where we can start to apply pressure on the way down but here's really the magic why is it that when we are in this position that we can effortlessly start to release the club face and when you get into a position to where your arms too kind of over too internal that you've got no choice but to uh, uh, sort of throw your angles out and early extend well, it's all to do with neutral joint alignment. What is neutral joint alignment? When I relax down, you can see my arms just naturally fall into this neutral joint alignment. It's our protective position. It's where our body naturally wants to align to. And you can see as I do this, my uh, bicep is pointing roughly at a 45 degree angle and my elbow pit is pointing again roughly at a 45 degree angle. So here's the thing, if I go internal, you're gonna see here that this is now pointing this bicep and elbow pit right across my body. If I then relax my arm down, it twists outwards. Or another name for it is it goes external as it relaxes. Now, if I grip a golf club like this with my arm in this position and I just relax it down, you can see how it twists the club face open as I go back to that neutral joint alignment position. Versus if we get into this good position to where, again, the elbow pit and the bicep are pointing away from us, if I relax my arm down, you see how it twists inwards, so internal. If I do this same position with the golf club, watch this, as I relax it, it twists the face into a closed position. Now here is what the studies show us. The best players in the world will have a closure rate, so the toe passing over the heel, which is two times faster than the change in loft, than the rate of change in loft. Basically meaning that you will see the best players in the world do this far more than they do this. And this is a crucial concept that is going to happen pretty much automatically if you allow that arm to set up in a great position because it's going to want to release the club the way we want it. So this is the amazing thing. If you get it into this position here, you're going to find then that as you get to the top, it's loaded, that it's naturally going to want to close the face. It's going to want to release the face on the way through. And it doesn't matter if you're a body release, a roll release player, you have to do this movement. Like I said, there is a direct correlation between the the rate of closure, so toe over heel versus the, the difference in loft, so how quickly the loft changes. There is a direct correlation. 
best players in the world close that face over a lot quicker than amateurs. The studies show it. Now, here's a really simple drill to help you sort of piece this together, this release pattern together. And I call it the preset release drill. So what you're gonna do is set up to the golf ball in your new awesome position. So turn the steering wheel to the right, get into that good spot, feel that good grip, elbow pit in the right position. Now, you're gonna go into this release point here. So as I do that, I can feel my trail arm start to rotate over. And you can see in this position, I've preset this great release. Now from here, I'm gonna to swing to the top, feel that load and swing back to this position. I'm gonna get used to what it feels like to allow that club to square up. And you're gonna feel if you set the trail arm in the correct position of the dress, how it's gonna happen super, super naturally. As well as this, you're also gonna notice, oh wait, suddenly my body's gonna to wanna to turn. I'm also gonna to wanna to get width and everything is gonna to start to fall into place. Then once you've done that a couple of times, then it's actually time to hit a goal shot, do a little three quarter swing, start in this great position, turn the steering wheel, get your hands on the club correctly. You can see my bicep is pointing away from me, elbow pit pointing away from me, take my grip, go into this good release. And you can see as I've done that, I've naturally allowed my hand to release over. Now I'm gonna swing back and hit it. So that is how by simply changing your right arm position at address, you're gonna see some huge benefits to not only your setup, your backswing, your downswing, and your release pattern, as well as club face control. Now, if you have questions about this, please drop them down below. I answer all my questions. Now, if you need some more one-to-one -one help, I offer online coaching on the Skillist platform. The link is down in the description. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe.